Hello and welcome to Late Model Fixed here at Nashville Fairgrounds. We're out for qualifying now. This is a pretty good combo. I like this one. I don't know how uh, well I'm going to do. I feel okay-ish, but we'll see. I'm, in, I'm expecting the track to be a little bit faster than it was in the practice beforehand here, because it's nighttime. I don't think it was nighttime whenever we were doing practice. It was like sunset, so... Okay. Maybe uh, yeah, should try to aim for a fastest lap here compared to uh, what I had before. We'll see what we get. Do my best. One more lap. Pushed wide. That was not good. Man, I, that's the worst time to have a mistake, too, is... Uh, out of four on the first lap, because that's going to ruin your second lap, too. So that kind of sucks. It was still a point one, so that's okay. I just tried to get a little bit too much. This is where you get banker laps. This is where you, like, get a solid lap the first time and then push the second lap. But I didn't think to do that this time, did I? Oh, is it good? <laughs> Hold on a second. I got so majorly loose out of turn four, and it's... Okay, I'm surely gonna be, like, knocked a P2 or something, right? There's no way. I mean, this is a 2.2 strength of field late at night. Um, so, we are the number one, of course. But we've got some strong drivers in here. I'm kind of, like, so surprised. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be dropping like a rock. But, I guess it's... I guess we did okay. All right, point one. I mean, it, it was a really bad loose moment, but I still like kept the throttle in it, and I still got the point one, which is really not too far off. So, hey, I guess it's not so bad. Heck yeah. What are we waiting on? We got the five and the ten. Ten has done a lap. In fact, I think he just started there. Might be getting the tires up to temp that first lap and then coming in hot for the next one. I don't know. Let's see. We kind of stink to start on the outside, but who knows? Maybe the outside's not too uh, unviable. Got the high, uh, high-ish bankings here at Nashville Fairgrounds. Maybe you can stick it pretty well on that second lane. As usual, my uh, expectations are tempered not the greatest in the late model not the greatest at short tracks in general general blah 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 so never expect too much but hey it's looking pretty good so far the five has a black flag <laughs> they must have spun or something damaged the car not sure what happened there but uh, they're the only one we're waiting on at the moment that's a surprise all right make sure i've got all my settings correct how i want them yeah, it looks good. I lowered my steering ratio for a little extra control over the fine, I don't know, adjustments <laughs> of the steering wheel. And then I lowered the brake bias down to 52.6. That seems to be uh, doing all right for me. I imagine maybe the uh, 5 reset and is probably trying to do another lap after having... Uh, a spin out or something. That's the end of the session. Full oh. position. Nice one. That's it. That's it. <laughs> we got a full position, I guess. Neato burrito. Uh, time to throw it away somehow. Uh, okay. Cool. Don't spin. Reminder to self. Note to self, don't spin. Which, uh, I think, to not spin, I'll need to not overdrive. Don't know how to save tires, as usual. Other than don't push too hard like I did in qualifying and nearly hit the wall. That's probably a good way to wear the tires out, doing that. So, maybe don't do that. I don't know, though. Maybe the right rear might get, uh worn out coming off the corners here so i might have to think about that as well 
I'm not quite sure. I've done this combo before, but I don't have too great a memory of how it went. I don't actually know. Are we single split? I don't think so. This is a pretty small field. Ten people. I, yeah, there were definitely more than ten people signed up. So. Not single split. Pretty small field, though, with ten people. These usually aren't very big fields anyway, though. So it's cool, we'll be able to get a nice jump, hopefully. I'll need it. Usually my problem with uh, short track racing is I get fatigued later in the race. And I start uh, missing my marks and such. Yeah, it looks like a first gear start. Looks like we got enough room before we need the shift. So I'm gonna fall back a little bit from the pace car here. One left to green. Try to get as good a jump as I can. No restart zones here. And of course there will be no cautions. We might have to dodge some things. Hopefully everyone does a good job low and Hopefully I do a good job. I guess I am part of everyone. Get ready. Going but green. almost time to go. Ready. Hey, that green. was a pretty terrible start. That actually, I needed to shift much quicker than I expected I would need to. So maybe it was a second gear start. After all. Nice there, three. Good job, buddy. Oh. Something happened. Something might happen. Came down my nose. I don't want to hear it. Uh oh, they're already wrecked. Oh my god, they're already wrecked behind me too. One point five behind me already. Oh no. This has escalated quickly. The wise man once said that escalated quickly. Um Okay. This might be... Nah, let me not count my eggs before they chicken. We've uh, got a long way to go. I was going to say, this might be the actual first short track win I get in the late model, but that is it's way too early to be saying things like that. Do you want to jinx yourself? Because that's how you jinx yourself. But hey, doing pretty good. Gonna get that the session last lap when I get the chance. Top, we're good. Seven's bringing it to the pit road. The lap time was at 19.3. Probably shouldn't overdrive it here. Should probably be very smart about being nice to the tires since I don't really need to push right now. But then again, like I don't know if. It's gonna be on the right rear at the end of the, the end of the race, or if we uh, are gonna get tight. I don't know, so I don't really know what I should be aiming for in terms of balance. I mean, I guess that's it, right? Balance it. Try to get on <laughs> All right, both of them. So I'll keep an eye on that gap back there. Lap for Dixon, 19.2. Ooh, that, that's uh, interesting. So the five was a lap down. Lap Must have been involved in something. Has gotten the fastest lap. So there are guys out here that are faster than me. That's not a surprise. But we might have gotten very fortunate from some early trouble. I feel like I'm turning the wheel a little much. Yeah, uh, probably back up the corners a bit. Probably ease on the throttle a little more. This feels like I'm getting a little bit too happy with the steering wheel. Pretty fun drive, though. Not very many series you can race this place and 
not have too much of a wreck fest. I mean, they're not having a very great time back there, but no cautions in this series, so. Usually you come here and you'll get like two laps and then a caution will come out, like I've done. I think Xfinity here and maybe trucks. Usually it's hard to get some green flag runs. I remember Arca came here and I remember it was really freaking loose. And uh, that was fun, but also pretty messy just because you had so many people spinning out. There's a lot of dodging, I remember. But smaller field in this one. And not quite as loose of a race car, so maybe we'll get. Uh, we'll have a nice, easy time. We'll just make our way past lap, tra lap traffic. Nice and easy. Take our time with it. Should be alright. Used a little bit more brake that time, and I think it actually helped, so maybe get on the brake a little bit more mid-corner. Get this thing turning. Yeah. Ooh, a little tight. Don't push up into the wall. Identify that as soon as I feel it start pushing. So that way I don't even get near that dang old wall. That's probably my biggest enemy left in this race. We've got lap traffic to contend with, and then we've got to avoid that wall too, because that can end my day if it wants pretty quick too. So, Havilland, where are you going? Pardon me, sir. Okay, Colton. Cup time's pretty Figured consistent. It out. Outside, clear. I unmuted him right. Okay, yeah. I didn't know if maybe he was like, go high or something. Because it looked like he's trying to let me go high, maybe? Which I would prefer not to do, but... Maybe he didn't see me, I don't know. It doesn't matter regardless. Didn't take too much time. Car still feeling pretty good. We are uh, approaching halfway through this thing. These races are pretty quick. In the fixed series big model. Maybe eventually I'll move on to uh, check out like the open series over here. That's probably pretty good, right? I don't know if they do. They, I don't think they do actually do green flag pit stops, and that's why I like doing the open series and the NASCAR stuff, like the trucks and stuff. I like the green flag pit stops. It doesn't really do anything for me. Like, the actual setups themselves, even though they're usually more fun to drive, the thing that really draws me to those series are longer races and, you know, having to do some fuel tire strategy, maybe even have to make a green flag pit stop. That's what I really enjoy about those. Plus, the ra racing is generally cleaner, not always, but generally. So that's why I like those open series races. But I don't think that's a thing in these cars, so, I don't know, maybe I'll stick to the fixed. It's kind of nice just to have a, a quick-ish race to do as well. Still takes about, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes or so. Overall, but quicker than... Uh-oh, not holding the brakes, okay. <laughs> Figured that out. Have to keep my eyes open. You never know what you're gonna see around that bend. Let's do a check, see what that gap is doing behind us. We'll check at the line, see what uh, gap says. Let's see if anything uh, is changing with it. So at the line, gap behind 3.8. So we'll see where that is next lap. See if I have anything to be concerned about. Doesn't feel like it. Like I said, the car feels pretty good still. I think I'm doing an okay job of getting this thing turning. Looks pretty even. 3.8 once again. 
plenty of fuel. That was a 19.7. Kind of focusing on being consistent. It's doing all right for me. Coming up on halfway here. I generally like these tracks with the higher banking. Although I do like flatter tracks too, like New Hampshire and the Arca car is really fun. I like that. Not just the Arca car, like New Hampshire and like the trucks and stuff too. Xfinity, all that. That's a pretty flat track. So. I guess I just like all types of tracks <laughs> in that regard. I think maybe short tracks I enjoy when they've got the higher banking. Like Bristol's pretty fun to drive. It's not always the greatest racing on iRacing because it can be a bit messy, but I enjoy driving around Bristol. So if I'm going to do a short track, I guess I kind of like these higher banks. Like Southern National's pretty fun. I like that one too. That's all just personal preference. This person giving it to me on the bottom. Yes, let's see. Sure, patient on the throttle so we don't push up into him. We're good. We did it. We survived. That lap was a 19.8. And we've gotten some more room behind us, and it looks like they're fighting for second as well. So that's also good news. 20 to go. This has been very unexpected. This is not what I thought was going to happen. Maybe I should have expected it. I mean, I am the one car, but... Usually don't have this much success in this series, regardless. Usually I'll still come into one of these, like, single-split races. Even though this isn't a single-split, but I'll, I'll join a single-split race in this series and still get beat by, like, four or five people. Because I'm still trying to get better at this stuff, but looking okay right now. You've just done a 19.8. It still feels fine. Maybe a little bit tighter, but certainly not anything unmanageable. Just using that banking to get uh, the car turning. The brake on entry. Just done a I'm letting the car coast a little bit sometimes. Not usually something you do too much on iRacing. But I'm you know, getting off the throttle a little bit mid corner. Waiting on the throttle until I know that it's going to catch and not push up in, into or near the wall. Like I did in lap one of qualifying. Approaching P4, about two and a half seconds ahead. I think a lot of guys had trouble. I think that's the only reason I'm out here. I think there was people, there were people that had to check up early because of something that happened. Just gave me a big gap and then they've been fighting for position back there and I've been all on my own. I think that's the story of this race. Nice, fun drive, though. I'm enjoying myself. Beats being at work. I like coming home and being able to race instead of... ...do things I don't want to do at work. <laughs> Are still not feeling any different, really. Not in any sort of significant way. Really expected to either get loose or tight, not stay the same. But maybe these, this race just isn't quite long enough for any major changes to happen. It's uh, certainly not K5 Championship Season 0 out here. I wonder how many laps that would be. So I don't we didn't go here for that. You know, like 150 laps or something, maybe that would have been? Maybe more? I don't remember. 
exactly how long those races were, but they were much longer than this. So, a little boring. I'm sorry about that. Not racing anyone side by side. You don't really sign up for a short track race and expect Go it to low. be boring, but... Not too much going on, though. We got something happening right here. Got the four getting around the seven. I'll give him room in case he bounces off the wall or something. Okay. Clear hard. Clear Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, earlier. I hope I didn't hold you up too much earlier in the race. Sorry about that earlier. Huh. No worries. You're good. The guy behind is now. Yeah, I didn't even notice. I think I, I think I do remember Havilland. Yeah, I do actually remember that. Yeah. yeah it wasn't a big deal. So, approaching five to go. Feeling pretty good about this one. You got five left to go. It's just like I'm letting the corners turn the car for me, generally. run out of things to say about this one. We've got a whole lot of empty track in front of us. We've lapped up to P3. We'll be able to see what happened to everybody, particularly on the start. That basically handed it to me. We'll check that out for sure. Two more. Let's go. Come on, Colton. Two to go. Stay focused. We can win this. He can win this, yes. I think we can. White flag, nice and smooth. Hooray! White flag. One more lap, keep it together, we'll win this. Lap times are pretty consistent. Well, that was unexpected. I gotta say. I expected a little bit more pushback in this one. You win, Bill. You won. Fantastic. Thanks, good race. Yeah, we did it. Too bad it wasn't for a million. Good win, one. Untouchable, man. You're untouchable. <laughs> no, a lot of guys. It seemed like you guys had some, something go on behind me at the start. For the pit speed limit. Pit lane speed limit is 35 yeah, miles per six, hour. I don't know. Maybe try and clear yourself and just wasn't, but it is what it is, it's a racing deal. <laughs> so we were 79.83, so I was on the right front. Interesting. Okay, good to know. We are the one of two people with no incidents. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I was expecting to see. I think everybody had a little bit of trouble, maybe. Let's take a looky. Oh, that's kind of loud. Excuse me, sir. It's nighttime. People are trying to sleep. That's what happened. Okay, so we had the tiger car. We got Tony the tiger over here clearing himself. <laughs> yeah, that's a bummer. Comes down. I think he probably thought he could clear him entering the corner, and it just didn't happen. It was a little high, but yeah, they just come together there. Yeah, a couple people run into each other. It wasn't quite as big as I thought it might have been, though. Hey, look, bushes and trees. Fascinating. 
Is that it? So that's what happened, huh? 7 gets loose. I thought for sure we had some more things happen behind me. It looked like some people made it through just fine. Like we had that happen. They lost some time going around. And then what happens here? Oh, okay. That's what we. Why didn't that show up? This is what happened. See, these two guys would have been fine. But then uh, I think the five pushes up. Yeah, the five pushes up and kind of takes both of them out. And so that was everybody. <laughs> Pretty much everybody had trouble in lap one except for me. Trouble in the form of either having to check up for a wreck or being in a wreck. So that sucks. Like, three probably has a little bit of damage, right? Maybe not. Just kind of got his right front a little bit. Didn't help, though, and definitely lost some time. Like, look at this huge gap I already had. That's just a huge advantage right from the start. So, very fortunate that qualifying lap really paid off here to be able to uh, get that jump and not have to be behind all that. So we'll get back to where we were here. We had the 10 finding the wall, it looks like. Got it pretty good, I think, judging by the damage I saw. Then, uh, 8 a little off the wall, 10 comes up, gets him a little bit. Oh my god, <laughs> oh my gosh, that was an airmail. Almost went and got him. I'm actually impressed that he was able to stop the car in time, entering basically on the yellow line. Is this for position? Ooh. I think it is. No. <laughs> it's not. Uh, so this guy is a lap down. They're just... Uh... I think the 8's probably frustrated that he's getting passed by a lapped car. Maybe wasn't too worried about running into him there. But uh, the guy didn't give much room either. Five taps the wall. I assume he went and got a new car. Seven doing his best to let guys by. The two also had a, a sh that trouble early on, probably to get a new car. Like, these are guys that probably would have been catching up to me later, but we're not able to have that chance. And then we're going to get some wall. Probably some wall. And that's it. So, uh, not, not the most eventful race beyond lap one, especially for me. But, uh, hey, can't complain about that. Can't do much better than that, I guess. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Nice, easy going race here. And I suppose that'll do it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I appreciate you, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.